The vote of no confidence for the Minister of Justice, Zbigniew Ziobro, was preceded by a stormy debate. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki responded to the opposition's allegation that Zbigniew Ziobro was responsible for the European Commission not accepting the National Reconstruction Plan. In fact, sometimes I wonder in what absurdity you can still move since this part of the room voted against the KPO. It was you who did not vote in favor. I did not see your hands raised a year ago, and I wonder if I will see them in the next vote. The same did not agree to the vote of no confidence for Minister Jobro. His dismissal was demanded, among others, by the civic platform, the left, PSL and Confederation. You have a mistake in the name of the party because it should not be platform but contempt, contempt for Poland. You call for the imposition of sanctions, penalties on your own country. Yesterday, the lower house of parliament approved the presidential bill reforming the Supreme Court by the votes of Law and Justice, Solidarity Poland and Kukis 15. What's about this? 452 deputies have voted, 231 voted for, 208 voted against and 13 abstained. The same passed the act on the Supreme Court and certain other acts. The project was not supported by MPs from the civic platform, the left, PSL, Poland 2050 and Jarosław Govin's agreement. The Confederation abstained from voting. Unfortunately, I am not reforming this project of the highest law in the whole system. Before the vote, Law and Justice withdrew two amendments to the independence test, but the essential assumptions of the project were maintained. Much controversy was raised by the secondary test of independence and impartiality of judges, consisting of the fact that for six months after the entry into force of the act, the parties could conclude whether the judgment was passed in accordance with the standards of independence and impartiality. In turn, the president of Warsaw, Rafał Trzaskowski, believes that the reform is not enough for the funds from the National Reconstruction Plan to flow to Poland. I spoke with Ursula von der Leyen and she made it clear that the presidential project itself was not enough, but there must be absolute certainty that there would be measures that would lead to full independence of the judiciary and that judges would not be disciplined only because they have a different opinion than the authority. This is wishful thinking, says Marek asked. Rafał Trzaskowski will be very surprised because next week the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, will be in Poland and will probably announce the release of these funds. The reservations of the European Commission as to the disciplinary chamber of the Supreme Court were a pretext and not a reason to block the Polish reconstruction plan, points out Professor Mieczysław Ryba. Maybe it will happen not only because of the act, but also because of U.S. pressure. I remember when Katrina Barley even demanded the financial starvation of countries such as Hungary and Poland. On June 2nd, the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, is to pay an official visit to Poland. Probably then she will officially announce the approval of the National Reconstruction Plan.